We've got the Mustang Mach-E GT Performance Edition. In cyber orange, and we're looking very colorful. Let's go for a ride. Holy crap, this thing is fast. It's so wow. fast. Wow. I, I don't know why anybody needs a car this fast. It's unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> it's the GT Performance, and it delivers on the name. While we're at it, what's under the floor of this Mustang Mach-E? We've got the extended range model, and it has E all-wheel drive with a 91 kilowatt hour battery. It has 480 horsepower and 634 pound-feet of torque with 418 kilometers and 260 miles of EV range. The Ford Mustang Mach-E GT Performance. Andrea, what are the key standard features? The base trim comes with a 15.5 inch touchscreen with SYNC 4A, a 10.2 inch digital driver display, wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, a 10 speaker B&O sound system, a wireless charger, driver seat memory and power folding mirrors, eight way power heated front sport seats, a heated steering wheel, Active X gray upholstery, a power lift gate, and 20 inch wheels. The Mach E does not come with ventilated front seats or heated rear seats on any trim. Big rotary dial here to select the gears. What are we going to put it in? You got to put it in S for subscribe. And if you can hit that notification bell, you'll be notified when all of our reviews drop and then you can watch them. And we do this the couple car review twice a week. The first one drops on Wednesday. We put another one out on Saturday. So make sure you subscribe, hit that bell. That's important. But also follow along on Instagram. It's motormouth underscore Andrea to get a sneak peek behind the scenes. For me, it's motormouth underscore auto and the links are below. This video is brought to you by Canada Drives. Shop online for your next used vehicle and enjoy the convenience of two-year door delivery and the confidence of a seven-day love it or return it guarantee. Visit canadadrives.ca to learn more. Now, last year, we got the regular Mach-E and I kind of ranted in that video. I'm wondering, Andrew, do you think a rant will come on? In I, this video? Probably. It wouldn't surprise <laughs> me one bit if there was a rant. You know what's interesting though? We drove that Mach-E before all of the other electric yeah. SUVs came onto the market. The ID4, the Ionic 5, and uh, the iX from BMW. We're going to drive that in a couple weeks. So uh, we are getting more of a taste for the electric SUV market. We sure are. And one thing that stands out for me in this Mach-E GT Performance Edition is that it really pushes the boundaries of what an electric car offers performance wise. This is so sporty and it is so fun behind the wheel. It's just such an engaging drive. I'm loving it. The big difference though, between this and, and, and we forgot about the Model Y, we drove Model that as well. Y, yeah. And especially the Model Y, which is the best seller, is that the suspension on this now, thankfully, is so much better. And we're gonna get into it a little bit more in Questions Coffee and Cars, but they've added a key element to this car, which is adaptive suspension, yeah. MagnaRide. Tesla doesn't have it and the others don't either. And we've got the one pedal braking. You can shut it off if you don't like it. You do come to a complete stop when using it. Now the handling and the way this thing goes down the road is Mustang-like. Like, yeah. like I know a lot of people hate the name. It's been out for over a year now. I'm kind of past all that. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, if you're a performance minded driver, you will not, you, I underline this, be disappointed in this car. If you want more of a smoother EV ride, then you will not like this. This will not be <laughs> no. the one for you. Yeah. But if you live somewhere in the northeast of the US or eastern Canada where there's a lot of potholes, yeah. you have to try this. Uh, on potholed roads. It doesn't soak up the bumps in the road. You feel them, but boy, it is exhilarating. Yeah. Magnetic ride control does help with that. Like it mm -hmm. does adjust the suspension. It is already calibrated to be quite firm. So keep that in mind. And unfortunately it's not available on the other models, only on the GT Performance Edition. Now this color, Andrea, has been turning heads uh, everywhere you've been driving it. Are you sure it's not just because they go, it's Drea from the Motormouth YouTube channel. I'm telling you, it is the way this EV looks. We dropped our son off at school. He said to me, mom, everybody stared at that Mach-E as you pulled away. This thing gets a lot of looks. I have 
quite a few people coming up to me. Doesn't matter if it's in cyber orange, red, or blue. People take notice of this because I think it is one of the best looking EVs on the road. So what do you get with this GT Performance on the outside? Well, it's got a carbonized gray grill with an illuminated pony on the front. It comes standard with LED headlights and taillights. We've got 20 inch wheels and 19 inch front brakes with red calipers. I think it looks great. And the other nice thing now that we've had a year to absorb all of the other new models getting back in this product i really do now appreciate the extra effort that ford went to to make this feel and look uh, like you're getting your money's worth so a lot of the other competitors have sort of flimsy cheaper looking interiors mm -hmm. this one you've got cloth on the dash alcantara and these seats andrea i want these seats in my office i would love this as an office chair i know or what about a dining room table oh chair? yeah that'd be cool wow this cradles your back it offers so much thigh support you will love these on a long trip and i'm with you zach the mixed materials in here make a really big difference. There's Active X Leatherette in here, which is Ford's name for its upholstery. And it's really nice. The materials are quite beautiful in here. And then the 10.2 inch digital driver display is placed perfectly uh, in my opinion. Uh, uh. Oh, no, I don't know about go. that, Andrea. I, like, like you think about that. Um, oh, there's one we forgot about was the BZ4X, the new yeah. Toyota. They place theirs high and back, way better position than that. that I, that's obscured by the steering wheel in some positions. It is not only the top corners, but all of your information is there. You do not notice that there's a visibility problem. In my opinion, mm -hmm. I like it. Zach and I differ on that. So I want to be very clear. I'm not saying booze cruise. I'm saying blue cruise. That's the automated driving system that Ford has. GM has cruise. They have blue cruise. And yeah. it's part of a package. And you need to get that package in order to get the pan or roof, right? Yeah, so the package is just under $2,500. And it also comes with the 360 camera. But the only way to get the panel roof is to get that package and then you have to add over $1,800 Canadian to get the roof. I wish that there was another way to get the roof if you don't want that package. And because this has a long wheelbase, there's plenty of room in the back seat. However, I found the rear seat bottom not nearly as comfortable as the front. I think the padding's a lot thinner in the back than they are in the beautiful front seats. This doesn't offer best in class second row space. The Model Y has more as well as the EV6 and Ionic 5. And no problem for carry-on and a cooler, a very useful cargo area. Overall, cargo capacity is very good as well as space behind the second row, but the ID4 and Model Y offer more. And there really isn't storage underneath the floor. That's where they hide the tire repair kit. All right, we're gonna get into the interior and we'll see if I go off. <laughs> Time now for questions, coffee and cars. Your questions from Instagram. If my memory is correct, there were some things that you did not like in the previous review of the Mach-E. Has Ford improved or corrected these issues? Well, one for me, the others still remain. I still don't like the gimmicky door handle. That's the answer to the question nobody was asking. The number one thing for me, Andrea, is if it's frozen on a cold winter day, yeah. how are you gonna pull on that thing? Well, that's the problem. I'm gonna be building a garage and I'm going to be putting my EV in the garage, right, Zach? And the other one <laughs> is that the air vents blow on my knuckles at uh, 10 and 2. I like to drive at 10 and 2 and the cold air blows on my knuckles. And I know a lot of you are going to go, no, Zach, don't be a baby. But it's one of those things that's just like, it's a basic engineering thing they could have avoided. I have not noticed, I didn't notice in the last Mach-E we drove or in this Mach-E, anything to do with blowing air on my knuckle. That's because you drive I like this at 12 no o'clock like this. I do not. Yeah, Andrea, this is Andrea when the camera's not, not on, she's like this. Yo, what's up? Yeah, right. No, right. Doesn't. That's me. Sure. <laughs> anyway. Okay, now. No, no blowing of the knuckles. Totally fine with it. All right. Now, I saved the best for last. The biggest difference for me is that the regular Mach-E has a bouncy suspension, especially in the yeah. back. It goes over bumps and then rebounds too much and it kind of bounces. It doesn't really show up on camera. You feel it in the car. This has Magna Ride or Magnetic yeah. Ride Control and that takes care of that. And it is an amazing machine with this combination of power, 
and handling yeah. and this suspension. Now, it does have that bounce still when you go over big, speed big bumps, bumps yeah. uh, even in this GT performance model, but I kind of like it. Mm -hmm. I kind of like it. It's not going to be for everybody. If you want that smooth ride from an EV with a super quiet cabin, you're not getting it with this gal, but boy, is it ever fun to drive. Okay, type below if you don't want cold air blowing on your knuckles. I like the interior of the Mach-E, but holy cow, that screen is always so striking. Has it proven to be an excellent functioning tool or just a large screen for the sake of large screens? Both. It is fantastic. Sync 4A with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto is excellent. It's intuitive to use. The system is quick and it's very crisp and clear the graphics as well. Domestic manufacturers, and I'll include Tesla in that because they're a domestic manufacturer in North America, all do excellent infotainment yeah. systems. They really, really do. Like a lot of other brands could learn from the domestic four, I guess they'll call them now. Now we recently, actually this week, we had the BMW i4, the electric sedan. Yep. and they have their traditional horizontal um, screen. I prefer that over this. I just got to say, for me, that's better. One thing I really like about this screen is at the bottom, there is the heated steering wheel, heated seats, climate control, and it stays on the screen at all times. And if you want to change your drive modes, you just click on the Mach-E icon on the top left of the screen, and you can do that and also put on the one pedal driving or shut it off. We put out a lot of content each week on the Motormouth YouTube channel, and it's so easy to find. All you do is go to the YouTube search bar and type in Motormouth, the name of the channel, and then the brand you're looking for. In this case, it's Ford, and all of our videos pop up. It's that easy. Can you comment on your review about the new federal discounts that are available now for lower trims and how they would compare with other EVs? Just ordered one, even with Zach's ranting on the original video, and can't wait to get it. Even better now with the federal rebate. Yeah, so the federal rebate moved. For cars, it's fifty-five to sixty-five thousand dollars. The yeah. vehicles have to be under that amount uh, to get the five thousand dollar rebate. And then for SUVs and trucks, it's sixty to seventy. So now, Andrea, this qualifies. Yeah, it's great. You can only get the regular Mach-E, not this GT model. This is over eighty thousand dollars with an MSRP starting price in Canada. You can get the base model, and you could add the comfort package. It'll give you all those extra features you need. Unfortunately. There is only standard range available, rear wheel drive or all wheel drive, and that will qualify. Or you can move up to the Premier trim and you can get that extended range option. And that comes in under $70,000 Canadian. So that's pretty great. I'm so glad that they're taking my tax money of $5,000 and giving it to somebody to buy a $70,000 electric mock e i think this is fantastic <laughs> and swanning around and basically you're not getting any more buses or subways or trains you're just buying somebody individual transportation way to go zach is not happy about this rebate and the extension I think it's a, to a greater price point if but. you can afford a seventy thousand dollar car buy your seventy thousand dollar car don't ask me for money as for other EVs, I'm well, ranting we again, wonder, Andrea. I know he is <laughs> ranting. Here we go again, and it's another Mach-E review. It's got nothing to do with the Mach-E. No. It's just these rebates totally skew the market. So other EVs, Model Y does not qualify. The price point is too high, and um, the EV6 and the Ioniq 5, all of those vehicles, ID4. What else, Zach? Yeah, Let's all, name all a the few. new SUVs, you know, they're all in they're, there. They're all qualifying. Of course, the new BMW iX does not. It's priced too high. So They have to pay you $5,000 <laughs> to drive the iX because of the way it looks. So what I wonder is, will manufacturers start raising the price now of yes. EVs instead yes. of them being under $45,000? Yes. Are they going to ditch that base model yes. and start at fifty? dollars Yes, I'm ranting again. This is totally skewing the market. When yep. you have the government sticking their thumb in a business, it skews it. So now that $45,000 rebate is going to be gone. The new starting price is sixty yep. for an SUV. I guarantee you all of the prices of these EVs EV, SUVs are going to go up in the next year. And we complained when we first drove this Mach-E that it didn't qualify because it has a starting price over $51,000 Canadian. Now I can see many manufacturers raising it to that price point. Watch.
And now it's time for our hot topic. What's this one, Andrea? I really feel Ford is ahead of the competition in electrification with the F-150 Lightning launched as well. Mach-E is certainly a good value car. In the North American market, Ford and General Motors seem to have some electrification announcement with even more money they're spending each and every week. Now, a lot of people focus on passenger cars like this and the F-150. Yeah. The real battle between General Motors and Ford is going to be for the commercial light truck market. Mm. Think about those delivery vans that are delivering your prime deliveries from Amazon, all electrified, right? That is going to be the battleground. And Ford has a partnership with Volkswagen. A lot of people don't know their partners mm -hmm. when it comes to the light truck use, and that's where they're going to develop electrification. So Ford has increased their spending through to 2026. They're spending $50 billion on electrification. The F-150 Lightning as well as this Mach-E have been very popular choices for Ford. In fact, in 2022, the Mach-E in the U.S. is no longer available. You can't even place an order. It's becoming pretty clear how popular electric vehicles have become. Record high gas prices will help too. Yes. Unbridled, Andrea. I'm going unbridled. That's a good one, unbridled. Because, because it's Whisper, a, engage, unbridled. Unbridled is a horse reference. <laughs> you take the bridle off the horse and then you just go for it, holy crap. Wow. <laughs> 600 plus pound feet of torque. Zoom, that's fun. It was really fun. Yeah, you know, this is the thing. Electric vehicles with that quick snap, especially this one, woo, super fun to drive. Key thing is suspension. Yeah. The suspension, Magna Ride, well done for it. So what size battery does this have? How quickly can it charge and more? Let's get into the vital stats. Here's the pricing for the Mach-E GT Performance Edition. It starts at just under $83,500 in Canada and just under $62,000 in the US. Price as tested, just under $89,000 Canadian. With a level two charger, the Mach-E will charge from zero to 100% in 15 hours. And with a DC fast charger, you can achieve a 10 to 80% charge in about 45 minutes. Ford offers a warranty of three years, 60,000 kilometers or 36,000 miles. There is so much more competition arriving. Let's see what else you can buy. For your consideration, four vehicles for you to consider. Up first is the Tesla Model Y Performance with a combined 456 horsepower and 488 kilometers, 303 miles of EV range. It has a starting price of just over $89,000. The BMW iX xDrive 50 with 516 horsepower and 521 kilometers or 324 miles of range and a starting price of just $90,000. And one to watch out for is the Kia EV6 e GT, the high performance model coming soon. No pricing, horsepower, or range has been announced at this time. Here's our used car alternative from CanadaDrives.ca. This one is actually almost new. It's a 2022 Tesla Model 3 Standard Range Plus with just over 100 kilometers on the odometer for $74,590. Click the link or the tab below to find more vehicles in this class from CanadaDrives.ca. So there there are four EVs for you to consider. Lightning round. Two things we like, two things we like to see improve. I like the way this handles. I love the fact it comes with Magna Ride. I would like to see Ford add ventilated front seats and heated rear seats as an option. I would like Magna Ride to be available on the regular Mach-E as an option. I want this GT Performance model. This model changed my mind about the Mach-E. I wish that they had some of the features in the base model. This video is brought to you by Canada Drives. Shop online for your next used vehicle and enjoy the convenience of to your door delivery and the confidence of a seven day love it or return it guarantee. Visit canadadrives.ca to learn more.